tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add tasks to your to-do list using the app Todoist through Amazon Alexa. So the first thing you're going to do before we set up this app is you're going to head to your Amazon Alexa app and you are going to go to the more tab and click on skills and games. Then you're going to search for the Zapier app and then you're going to link your Zapier account to Alexa. Once you've done that, come into Zapier and for the trigger, you're going to search for Amazon Alexa and the only trigger event available right now is trigger phrase spoken. So hit continue and to activate the app once you've turned it on, you're going to always say something like Alexa, ask Zapier to trigger a zap. And then Alexa will ask you to say your trigger phrase. So you can add a few different ones here as long as they're three to six words each. So for this example, I'm going to add groceries to my to-do list. So my trigger phrase is add groceries to list. And then you put in a prompt question, which Alexa asks you. And then hit continue. And this sends test data. You don't have to go and test this live with Alexa. Next, we're going to connect to Todoist. Any action event can either be find a project and then create a task, or you can just do create a task. Hit continue, connect to your account. And one issue with finding a project and then creating a task is even though you set this project to be um, the project that you would find in your second step if you were finding the project, you still have to set the section for it to work. It doesn't uh, recognize this name for some reason and goes into your inbox project even if you choose a different value here. So um, go ahead and title. You would put in what do you want to add. It will put the answer to your prompt question. And then if you want to add a note, you can. And then here is where you want to select the project that you actually want to add to. And if you share a list with someone, you can assign it to you or someone else. And then hit continue. And test this out and continue. And if you go into Todoist, you should have your sample data in your to-do list. So once you're done with that, you can turn on your zap.